Well, right, because I just had Tony Yeo and Uncle Murder uh, on my show, and we were talking about how the 50 Cent tour was the third biggest rap tour of all time in terms of gross. Yeah. Number one was Jay-Z and Beyonce on the run. Now, you could say it's not exactly a rap tour, but, you know, the rapper on it, it counts. And number two was Drake. It's all a blur tour. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's the second biggest tour of all time in hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. You know me. I'm always pocket watching. Yeah. Drake, Drake changes one of the lines he had on. Um, so I'll start from the bottom. One of the songs that he had early on. Uh, the original line is, "Now I'm on the road and I'm getting a half a million for a show." He changes the line last night. He's like, "Now I'm on the road getting four milli for a show." And I'm like, "I wouldn't get off tour neither." <laughs> like, you gotta realize he did the tour with Savage, and he's like, "How's my bank account looking?" All right, let's get back on tour, okay? Cole, you come on. And then after. He's like, yo, come on, Wayne. So my boy's just collecting a bag. Yeah. Well, listen, I would love Have you been for to the Drake. Drake show? No, I never have. Let me tell you this. And my boy over there, he was there too. It's, it's a sight to see. Okay. It's one of those things where it's a full-on karaoke. This is how great and how long the, his career has been and just how much hits he has. Mm. It's not even about, when you go to a Drake show, it's not about like the, the extra stuff. Like when you go to, I went to Travis's show, this dude looked like he was about to do like a triple backflip. Yeah, like, pyrotechnics. Like at one point it looked like he's in the fire. You, you, like, this guy looked like he's trying so hard to get energy out of the music and into the audience. Drake is walking around the stage, there's times he just puts the mic down. Sing it! <laughs> and he's not doing no hits, his B cuts. Yeah. Everybody's song, Every single word of every song the entire night. Hey, man, listen. I've uh, never seen it. I've been, a, I've, been a, I've been a bunch of shows. They know every word. This is like Drake is almost like his own genre. Look, when it comes to classic diss songs, if you don't say back to back is on this list, you're just hating against Drake. You're just hating against Drake. Here's right? my thing, though. I don't think Drake could drop a back-to-back and beat Kendrick. Fuck a hook. You got to get back on some gritty shit. No, no, no verse. You got to be on some 5 a.m. in Toronto. You got to like, it's it got to be so different. Like we don't want like the, like if you think about the bars that defeated Meek. Yo, is that a world tour? Or your girl's tour? Like, yo, yeah. silly bars are you like. You get bodied by a singing. You get bodied <laughs> by a singing nigga. Yeah. In reality, listen to what Kendrick is saying to him. Yo, I'm going to murder you guys. Like, he's talking so aggressive, you have to meet him at that level, and you can't do it with the, hey, is that a world tour, your girl tour? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not, not going to work. work. It's not going to work. It's going to be a difficult I mean, one. Listen, I'm, I would love for Drake to respond. No, he's going to I would respond. love I'm for telling, Drake I'm, to I'm, respond. I'm being a Drake and OVO spokesperson right now. He will 100% respond. 100%. 100%. Percent. Okay. He's playing chess. He's sitting back and he's playing chess. I know you, you already have your war chess ready. I want to see what you have. And I'm not going to jump out there to give you the easy win. But I don't think Kendrick's going to drop anything else. If Drake responded already, let me tell you, Kendrick got a song that's going to clap both of them up. Same song. Trust me. Clap both of them up. Cole too. Cole, oh, you gotta think, get a smoke, of course. What, you think that Drake is gonna diss J. Cole no, too? No, 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 no. Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick, okay. Kendrick got it in the tuck. Okay. Everything was a preview. Right. It's but a warning I, shot. Right, but I don't think that Kendrick is gonna respond to J. Cole. I think he's waiting for the Drake response. No, you got to. Got to. Because, yeah. because now we're, we're seeing a pattern of behavior that, like, and, and I know this word never goes along with, with side, beside Kung Fu Kenny's name. But cloud chasing might, might be a thing then. Because if you're calling people's names out, we already seen this with Control. He called out 50 people's names, 25 of them responded, and he didn't respond to none of the 25. You know why <laughs> he wanted the one? He really want only Drake to respond. Right. So why call out the other he guys? He responded. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, he called out Big Crit, Pusher T, Wale, ASAP, Rocky, something, something, Drake. Hey, you know, you know Lupe responded. You know Big Crit responded. Yeah. You know Meat Mill came with a, ooh, kill him. You ain't respond back to them. Why I call yeah. it out? Now listen, I was on Math Hoffa's show last night, and what Matt said, which I agree with, is that right now, April 6th, 2024, the score is Kendrick 1, J. Cole 0. Right yeah. now, and, and then Drake 
zero as well because there's no response. I think Drake sent J. Cole out to do that. Like, yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, well, he what was, I'm saying he was is that, the king. Go ahead, fuck him up, see what he got. We're going to play that by ear. Let him know it's a warning shot you're putting out too. And then we're going to be in cahoots. Here, here's the thing, and this is why it's always going to... Kendrick has set this up so beautifully. No matter what the narrative is, even if he gets bodied. Yo, he's 2v1 in these guys. Hmm. You have one MC, 2v1 in two guys. Yeah. Like, you dropped a whole tape to respond. He gave you three bars on, on, on a verse and gave the other dude eight bars. Yeah. Come on. Right. Like, it's going to look better. It's like, hey, if I'm fighting... If, if if I lose to you 1v1, be like, damn, man, you got your ass beat. Now, if I say I lost to five dudes, so what? The fuck, yo, actually, <laughs> Still he held his own. Ball, yeah. he held his own held a little his own. bit. Held his own. Held his own a little bit. So I think Kendrick, he, he's in a good position. Yeah. I think him and Drake are playing psychological warfare. We're going to see if he's going to be on this, this, this next, um, uh, the next iteration of uh, uh, We Don't Trust You album. Yeah, the part two, and, yeah. yeah Which is not a somewhere. deluxe, Metro said. It's, it's an actual whole new album. Yeah, man, yo, yo, these dudes created a double album to hate on Drake. <laughs> yo, what's up? Yo, Drake is fucking all these chick- these dudes' girls. Like, what's going on? 